All right, guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur, and I want to show you how you can build a quick little funnel or a quick little kind of sales page and get some affiliate marketing sales. Okay, start making that affiliate marketing money because it's honestly not that hard. So I want to show you what I'm actually doing right here. Now, this is ClickFunnels. And that's what I'm be using. If you want to try it out, you can try the, the free 14 day trial. I'll put a link in the description box below. Uh, you can go try it out if you want to, but you don't need click funnels, uh, but I'm going to show you through click funnels. Okay. So just bear with me. I'm just going to go right through it. I'm going to go fairly quickly. I'm not going to go in really, um, I'm not really going to go, uh, let's see baby diapers. Uh, what I'm, Oh, so I'm not going to go and you'll know, make some you know, fancy page. It's going to be very basic. Okay. So I'm going to go and get rid of a bunch of these pages. Um, you know, you can have them. But, oops. And it would be good to, uh, you know, have these other pages, but you don't need them for what I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to show you a very, very basic uh, way to do it. And this is free um, as far as the traffic you're going to get. Now, obviously, if you pay for ClickFunnels, uh, the basic package is, I think, $97 a month, but still, uh, this is a great way to, and you can use multiple, uh, you can use weather, other websites, you can use other landing pages, you can use other services, but I recommend ClickFunnels. Anyway, so here we go. So let's say I'm just going to come in here, um, I'm just going to use basic sales page, and I'm going to go, let's pick something that looks okay. Um... Let's just pick that one. Okay. So ClickFunnels is going and pulling the page together. We're going to go and edit the page. And so I'm, I'm going to show you a method that's very simple and you can change the way I do this, uh, change the wording, change, kind of change the, uh, the whole design of it. I'm going to get rid of the video. I'm actually going to get rid of all of that. Not that one. Get rid of this. Then you don't want that. And I don't want any of this down here. So we can get rid of all that and we can get rid of this too. Okay. Pretty basic. Uh, let's see. So what I'm actually do is I'm going to be talking about diapers for like kids. Okay. This is just something I came up with top of my head. I've done it before, but using a different niche, different type of category. So, uh, but this is, it works the same. Okay. Um, attention parents. Answer this simple question. Okay, pretty simple. Go. Let's underline that one. Okay, there's that. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more to it, and I'm gonna actually add a survey uh, right here. So we can go edit the survey, and again, you can do you can do all this if you want to. Um, <coughs> There's so many ways you can edit this stuff in ClickFunnels, but like I said, I'm going to make this very basic. <clears throat> um, which diapers do you prefer for your baby? Baby. Okay. Right there. Let's see. Huggies. And uh, we'll do Pampers. Okay. Two different ones. Um, so that's actually going to redirect. It's going to, that's actually going to, we'll just leave it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, no, we'll just do end the survey. We're going to add the, actually, no, we're not. Delete that. Okay. Um, let's see. Triggers. We don't do, we don't do any outcomes. We'll leave it there. Okay, that's it. Now, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna come in. I'm actually gonna get all that. Let's add, actually add a new element or underneath it. And all I'm gonna do is add a button. Okay, all I'm gonna do is add a button. Actually, I need another page. Uh, I actually deleted the the page I needed anyway. Um, nope. Uh. Go to the next step in funnel. There it is. Okay. And 
Oops. Submit answer. Okay, so I'm gonna do mix a little bit bigger, a little bigger, change color. We're actually gonna change it to uh, I'll keep it red. There we go. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Attention parents, answer this simple question. Which diapers do you prefer for your baby? And now one of the other things you can do, <laughs> if I wanted to, I could come in here and let's say I wanted to add a new section, full width, just like that, add a new row, just like that, and then I'm gonna come here and all I'm gonna do is add an image. Okay, so I'd add an image right, <coughs> excuse me, I'd add an image right here, and all I'm gonna do, uh, the reason why I do that is because you wanna make it look a little more professional, and so I'd add images of diapers, okay? So first thing, someone pops on this page, attention parents, answer this simple question, has a picture of some diapers, <coughs> and down below it says, which diapers do you prefer for your baby, Huggies or Pampers, okay? And then just submit answer. They they can click on that, and you know we can go and preview it um, after I save it. We can preview it. Okay, it's saved. So now we can go and preview this. That's what it's going to look like. Let's say I picked Huggies. It's analyzing. Okay, doing that. Do not leave the page or reload. Okay. Then you they're going to click submit answer. Okay, pretty simple. Now here's what I forgot to do. I actually deleted the page I needed. Um, so we'll do one more. Actually, we'll just go right here. Uh, we'll just copy that one. Oops. Where did I do it? I don't know what I did. Oh, I think it's right. There. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, next page. Like I said, I'm just showing you really quickly. Don't go and make the exact same page. Put a little more time and effort into it. This is, like I said, very basic, but <coughs> it does work. <coughs> and try to keep the pages looking the same. If it looks like you're switching them from one page to the next, <coughs> what's gonna happen is they're probably not gonna follow you. And if you can't, can't get them to follow you through the whole process, they're probably it's probably gonna be pretty bad on your part. Um, you probably not get any sales. Uh, so let me write, let's see, let, let me help you save money and keep your ba baby dry. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Again, like I said, just going really quick. So just kind of bear with me here. Get rid of that one. Okay, we're coming here. All the, you know, this, the copyright, privacy policy, all this stuff, um, sometimes I'd put it in there, I'd leave it, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to take it right out. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add a subheadline, then I'm actually going to add something right underneath it. I'm going to add bolted list. Um, actually, let's do one more thing right above it little paragraph okay take that I'm actually gonna move it right above and write a little bit uh, so just, just bear with me for a second while I write this So that's what I have right there. Uh, I'm actually gonna go, um, let's get rid of that top margin. I'm actually come here, let's edit some of the settings on this. We're actually gonna give it a little bit more, too much. 
Okay. Okay, just like that, you should use loves. So obviously what I'm gonna do here, <clears throat> let me help you save money and keep your baby dry, okay? If you love your child and want to save money at the same time, then I highly recommend you try some other diapers. Your choice is great, a lot of parents have that same choice, but there might be a better option for you. Let me explain. Okay, that's actually still a little high, it looks funny. Let me explain. Um, so, cost. Fit. Fit, and we'll get rid of this one. Okay, cost. Loves are cheaper by a at least a few cents per diaper. Fit. Most parents don't understand how to use loves correctly if you stretch the diaper out first before you put it on your baby it will fit much better okay and then from here we're just going to go and add uh, another sub headline and then we're going to go and add a button button don't believe me check it out for your yourself on amazon.com and right here what we're going to do here set the action and it would go okay and we'd actually open out a new window back and see on amazon.com make it a little bit bigger and there's no subtext we'll do like an orange okay so it looks like it's amazon.com now see like this what i do up here i again uh full width new row one row or actually let's delete that Delete that. We'll come here. Let's say we're gonna do three columns. Okay, we're gonna come right here, add an image here, we're gonna add an image here, and we're gonna add an image here. Guess that was too fast. Add an image there. Okay, three images. So just like that, let's go and edit this um, a little bit closer. Perfect. Okay. So just like that. Okay, and then this is gonna head over to Amazon over here. <coughs> Sorry if this video is a little bit long, but hopefully you're understanding what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna do here. So the first page I'm talking about Huggies, or I'm talking about Pampers and Huggies, I think. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, Pampers, you can see, okay, 16 cents. 16 cents per diaper for Pampers. And for Huggies, 24 cents. Oh my God, that's expensive. That's probably what they're thinking. Then they come down here to Loves, and it's like, oh wow, 10 cents a diaper, that's more affordable, okay? So once people see this, so all you gotta do, come over here, click on it, and then from here, uh, if you have the Amazon Associate site stripe, you just gotta come up here, click text, and this can give you your affiliate link. Then you just take that, put it right here, so instead of it saying uh, amazon.com, it would be your affiliate link. <coughs> so, probably wondering, well that's great, but there's still nobody on the on the page to see that. And I completely understand. So, uh, stay there, it's still saving. Okay, saved. So, there's nobody that's even gonna see this, okay? Honestly, nobody's gonna see it. And the reason why no one's gonna see it is simply because nobody knows it's there. All you have to do, now this is a really long link, now I would go to Bitly or I'd go some somewhere like that or just change this link to something smaller. But I'd take this link, I'd come over here to Facebook. Okay, I'm just over here on my Facebook thing. I went to parenting. Let's say I'm gonna find a parenting uh, page um, or group. A group would be better than just a regular page, but 
you know, you can do whatever you want. Um, let's see. Come to some type or let's see. Uh, let's see a new parent. Maybe that will have something a little better. Uh, parenting teens in Australia. A new hot parent. No. You get you get the idea. Um, now all these groups they're gonna want me to join. I'm not gonna be able to join. But let's say um, that's new new parents group. So all all we're gonna do here we just want to find a group that has a decent amount of members. So uh, um, I don't know what some of these are. I'm just gonna click on this one. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna come here. I'm obviously not enjoying the group. Uh, 456,000 people like this for Emma's diary. But let's say it was like, say it was like my home and entrepreneur group. Okay. <coughs> obviously, it's not. But you know, you're gonna get the idea here. <clears throat> Take that, copy that link, come here, and all I'm gonna do somewhere here, uh, I would go and I would write something. Okay. I just come here and I just start writing something. Um, uh, dear par parents, um, take this quick little diaper survey. I would really appreciate appreciate your answers. Thanks in advance. Okay. And then I'd put the link. Uh, I don't know if it, yeah, it's not even going to pull it up yet. Uh, it's still pulling or still saving it and stuff. Anyway, but that's all I do. And then I'd publish that. And you do that in a bunch of different groups. All you're trying to do here is you're, you're not trying to get, you know, a huge amount of exposure from this page. All you're trying to get is some people on here for free. This is free. Using Facebook is absolutely free. Okay, using Facebook and you know going this route is absolutely free. All you gotta do is put your put your link up there, put the page up there. The more you do it, the more money you should be able to make. Now, this is only one way to do it. Okay, and I think uh, if this sells, uh, you probably get why well, was it like four or five percent of the sale. So whatever that I don't even know what that is. To what ten percent is. Two dollars and fifty cents. So five percent, like a dollar twenty-five, is what you're gonna get from this. Um, so it's not like you make a lot of money. But that's just from one person buying one box of diapers. Well, if they bought diapers and then they came down here and they like, oh, I need these these uh, diaper pail refills, and so that's another twenty bucks. Oh, this is a cool little stroller organizer. I need that too. Oh, I want this, you know, diaper caddy. Yep, I need that too. And oh, I want to try these bamboo naturals as well. So they buy all this stuff, a hundred dollars, you know, quick little sale, and you make five percent, four percent, whatever it is, you know, four or five bucks. Not bad, right? So that's what I'm just trying to show you. Now, if you want to get this, um, let's see. I think it's somewhere right here. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna post this uh this URL right here. So if you want to just take this funnel that I made really quick, like I said, you can add to it and change it and do all this stuff, but it's very simple. Okay. So if you guys have questions on this, let me know. Again, sorry the video was a little bit long, but again, if you want to check out this funnel, you want to use this, <coughs> I will provide the link. Um so yeah, just go check it out. Um and the, it's a it's a free it's a free funnel. Okay. It's a free funnel, doesn't cost anything. Um, to go and use this one that I just made, but make it better. Obviously, it looks a little bit bare, so make it a little bit nicer. And also, if you do make it a little bit nicer, let me know what it looks like. Come back to this video and comment in the comment section below with your link to your landing page, because I would love to see what kind of landing pages you guys create. But anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.